the order of an ordinary differential equation is the number of primes in the highest order derivative. In this case, x triple prime is the highest order derivative, and so the order of the ODE is 3. The ODE in problem 2 can be converted to a system of n first order ODEs like this. First you get the highest order derivative by itself on the left hand side of the equation. Then you define yourself some helper variables. If you have a second order ODE, you just need to define yourself one helper variable. If I had a third order ODE, I'd have to define myself two helper variables. They'd look something like x prime equals v, v prime equals a. But here, I just need one. Then the next step is to rewrite the first equation using the helper variable, like this. Now it doesn't matter what you call your helper variable. You can choose whatever you want here. It is important to make sure that there are no derivatives on the right hand side of these equal signs. That's actually why we define the helper variables, so that we can rewrite everything on the right hand side without any derivatives. So this set of equations is not the right answer because this would be the set of equations that would correspond to a third order ODE. That's quite different. This set of equations is almost right except for this term right here. Remember we want no derivatives on the right hand side of the equal signs. This is the right answer. This one has a sign problem and this one doesn't have the helper variable in it so it's not complete.